Hello, my name is Mr Cameron and I'm the course leader for Core Maths. People study Core Maths for lots of different reasons. It's, a, it's an additional option uh, for, the, for a course at A-level. Rather than studying a full A-level in Maths, uh, you can study one just uh, for one year and get an insight into how Maths affects real world events and how it, how it can be useful for you in your later adult life. Um, there's lots of links with maths for um, in other subjects like psychology, sociology, geography, uh, quite a lot of different ones. It gives you a head start uh, for A-level and degree. Uh, if you're thinking about further study into university, it really does give you a massive head start for subjects like psychology uh, and sociology at university because there is a large element of stats that you might not cover if you don't do a maths A-level. Um, it also gives you a really good wider view of the world. So looking at current world events and how maths links in, how stats can be used for good and for bad, and then um, how we can be twisted by certain statistics. So it really is an interesting course to study. Within core maths, we learn three main things, and that is data analysis. So how to calculate and interpret statistics uh, very different to GCSE, the, the stats are similar, but how we interpret them is a lot, has a lot more real world slant on it rather than just your boring mean, median and mode, for example, in maths. Um, we also then look at critical analysis, which is taking someone else's work and taking that apart. And that works really well with the current kind of massive boost in fake news. Uh, this is something that we really uh, kind of focus in on looking a lot uh, recently at Donald Trump and things like that and how he uh, can manipulate statistics to get his uh, people to believe whatever he wants. Uh, and the final strand is financial maths. And this is the maths that a lot of people leave school going, I really wish I knew how to do taxes, for example, or what was going on with my savings accounts and everything like that. And at GCSE, we don't have a great deal of time to focus on that, but at core maths, we do. And a lot of students leave us and go on to financial uh, jobs, uh, for example, in hedge funds and working for Barclays and things like that. Speaking of careers, moving on after core maths, there's, uh, core maths doesn't apply just to one career, it applies to loads. There's, there's not really one career in the future that won't have some element of maths, um, be it accounting, accounting your books or anything like that. Um, previous students have already said have gone on to lots of apprenticeships and gone on to university courses, uh, wide ranging, like I said, going to Barclays, but also we've had nurses, we've had people going on to psychology, um, geography and all those kind of humanity based subjects, but have a great deal of maths involved in them. Uh, the options are endless. Um, I mean, the main main thing I would say about doing core maths is it gives you a much more much better understanding of the real world and you can just take that on to do whatever you want to do in the future. So I, I recommend core maths to anybody that is has a curious mind, is interested in how the world works and wants to answer the question, when will I ever use this again? Core maths is, is the answer to that question and it will help you in your later career.